In yoga, an asana is a body posture, originally sitting for meditation, but more generally for hatha yoga or yoga as exercise, including postures that are reclining, standing, inverted, twisting, or balancing as well as seated. The 5th century BC Yoga Sutras of Patanjali define asana as to be seated in a position that is steady but relaxed. Patanjali mentions the ability to sit for extended periods as one of the eight limbs of his system. The 10th or 11th century Goraksha Samhita and the 15th century Hatha Yoga Pradipika assert that there are 84 asanas. The 17th century Hatha Ratnavali provides a list of 84 asanas, describing some of them. In the 20th century, Tirumalai Krishnamacharya taught a new system of asanas, incorporating systems of exercises as well as traditional hatha yoga, to influential Indian yoga teachers including Patabi Joyce, founder of Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga, and B.K.S. Iyengar, founder of Iyengar Yoga. Together they described hundreds more asanas, revived the popularity of yoga, and brought it to the Western world. Many more asanas have been devised since Iyengar's 1966 Light on Yoga which described some 200 asanas, some 300 were created by Dharma Mitra. Asanas have been claimed to have beneficial effects in terms of flexibility, strength, and balance, to reduce stress and conditions related to it, and to have specific benefits for some diseases such as asthma and diabetes. etymology. <inaudible> <inaudible> Asana is derived from Sanskrit, asana asana, sitting down, from asa as, to sit down, a sitting posture, a seat. The word was first used in English to mean a yoga posture in 1834. Context Yoga originated in India. In his Yoga Sutras, Patanjali describes asana practice as the third of the eight limbs Sanskrit astanga, ashtanga, from asht, eight, and anga, limb of classical, or raja yoga. The eight limbs are, in order, the yamas codes of social conduct, niyamas self-observances, asanas postures, pranayama breath work, pratyahara sense withdrawal or non-attachment, dharana concentration, dhyana meditation, and samadhi realization of the true self or atman, and unity with brahman the Hindu concept of ultimate reality. Asanas are the physical movements of yoga practice and, in combination with the breathing exercises of pranayama constitute hatha yoga. Patanjali describes asanas as a steady and comfortable posture, referring to the seated postures used for pranayama and for meditation. He further states that meditation is the path to samadhi, transpersonal self realization. History Ancient The central figure in the Pashupati seal from the Indus Valley Civilization of c. 2500 BC appears to be sitting in Mulabandasana, a pose said to confer enlightenment, and hence identified as a prototype of the god Shiva. If correct, this would be easily the oldest record of an asana. However, with no proof anywhere of an Indus Valley origin for Shiva, there is no evidence that a yoga pose is depicted in the seal. Patanjali's Yoga Sutra, 4th -2nd century BC, does not mention a single asana by name, merely specifying the characteristics of a good asana. Topic: 10th to 17th centuries. The Goraksha Samhita 10 to 11th century or Goraksha Padathi, an early Hatha yogic text, describes the origin of the 84 classic asanas said to have been revealed by the Hindu deity Lord Shiva. Observing that there are as many postures as there are beings and asserting that there are 84 lakh or 8,400,000 species in all, the text states that Lord Shiva fashioned an asana for each lakh, thus giving 84 in all, although it mentions and describes only two in detail, Sadasana and Padmasana. The number 84 is symbolic rather than literal, indicating completeness and sacredness. The Hatha Yoga Pradipika 15th century specifies that of these 84, the first four are important, namely the seated poses Sadasana, Padmasana, Bhadrasana, and Simhasana. The Hatha Ratnavali by Srinivasa is one of the few texts to attempt a listing of all the 84. 
Although four out of its list do not have meaningful translations from the Sanskrit, and at least eleven are merely mentioned without any description but are described in other texts. In all, 52 asanas of the Hatha Ratnavali are confirmed and described by the text itself, or other asana corpora. The Garanda Samhita late 17th century again asserts that Shiva taught 84 lakh of asanas, out of which 84 are preeminent, and, "...32 are useful in the world of mortals." The scholar Mark Singleton notes from study of the primary texts that asana was rarely, if ever, the primary feature of the significant yoga traditions in India. 19th century onwards From the 1850s onwards, there developed in India a culture of physical exercise to counter the colonial stereotype of supposed degeneracy of Indians compared to the British, a belief reinforced by then current ideas of Lamarckism and eugenics. This culture was taken up from the 1880s to the early 20th century by Indian nationalists such as Tiraka, who taught exercises and unarmed combat techniques under the guise of yoga. Meanwhile, proponents of Indian physical culture like K. V. Iyer consciously combined Hatha Yoga with bodybuilding in his Bangalore gymnasium. Singleton notes that poses much like Durvasasana, Ganda Burundasana, and Hanumanasana were found in Thomas Dwight's 1889 article Anatomy of a Contortionist, while poses close to warrior pose, Downward Dog, Uthita Padangasthasana, Supta Virasana, and others were described in Niels Buch's 1924 Danish text Grundgymnastik eller Primitive Gymnastik known in English as primary gymnastics. These in turn were derived from a 19th-century Scandinavian tradition of gymnastics dating back to Pear Lane, and found their way to India by the early 20th century. In 1924, Swami Kuvalayananda founded the Kaivalyadama Health and Yoga Research Centre in Maharashtra. He combined asanas with Indian systems of exercise and modern European gymnastics, having, according to the scholar Joseph Alter, a profound effect on the evolution of yoga. In 1925, Paramahansa Yogananda, having moved from India to America, set up the Self Realization Fellowship in Los Angeles and taught yoga, including asanas, breathing, chanting, and meditation, to tens of thousands of Americans. Tirumalai Krishnamacharya studied under Kuvalayananda in the 1930s creating a marriage of hatha yoga, wrestling exercises, and modern western gymnastic movement, and unlike anything seen before in the yoga tradition, Krishnamachara is described as the father of modern yoga, and had among his pupils men who became influential yoga teachers themselves, the Russian Eugenie V. Peterson, known as Indra Devi, Patabi Joyce, who founded Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga in 1948, B.K.S. Iyengar, his brother-in-law, who founded Iyengar Yoga, T.K.V. Desikachar, his son, who continued his Vinayoga tradition, Srivasta Ramaswamy, and A. G. Mohan, co-founder of Svastha Yoga and Ayurveda. Together they revived the popularity of yoga and brought it to the Western world. In 1959, Vishnudevananda Saraswati published a compilation of 66 basic postures and 136 variations of those postures. In 1966, Iyengar published Light on Yoga, Yoga Dipika, illustrated with some 600 photographs of Iyengar demonstrating around 200 asanas. It systematized the physical practice of asanas. It became a bestseller, selling 3 million copies, and was translated into some 17 languages. In 1975, Dharma Mitra compiled a list of about 1,300 asanas and their variations, derived from ancient and modern sources. His work is often mentioned in contemporary references for Iyengar Yoga, Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga, and Sivananda Yoga. <laughs> Origins of the asanas The asanas have been created at different times, a few being ancient. Some that appear traditional, such as Virabhadrasana I, warrior pose I are relatively recent, that pose was probably devised by Krishnamacharya around 1940, and it was popularized by his pupil, Iyengar. A pose that can be dated fairly accurately is Parivrita Parsvakanasana revolved side angle pose. it was not in the first edition of Patabi Joas's Yoga Mala in 1962. Viparita Virabhadrasana reversed warrior pose is still more recent, and may have been created as recently as 2000. Several poses that are now commonly practiced, such as dog pose and standing asanas including the warrior poses, are not found in classical texts such as Hatha Yoga Pradipika, Surya Namaskar, Salutation to the Sun, may also have originated in the 20th century. 
A different salutation to the sun, the Aditya Ridhyam, is certainly ancient, described in the Yudha Khanda, Canto 107 of the Ramayana. Surya Namaskar in its modern form has been variously attributed to the Raja of And, who named and popularized the practice, and to K. Patabi Joyce, who defined the variant forms Surya Namaskar A and B for Ashtanga Yoga, possibly derived from Krishnamacharya. Surya Namaskar can be seen as a modern, physical culture oriented rendition of the simple ancient practice of prostrating oneself to the sun in 1966, Iyengar's classic light on yoga was able to describe some 200 asanas. Mitra created some 300 asanas out of the 908 illustrated in his 1984 Master Yoga chart, and many more poses have been created since then. The number of asanas has thus increased with time, as summarized in the table. Purposes Topic <inaudible> Spiritual The asanas of Hatha Yoga originally had a spiritual purpose within Hinduism, the attainment of samadhi, a state of meditative consciousness. Asanas work in different ways from conventional physical exercises, according to Satyananda Saraswati placing the physical body in positions that cultivate awareness, relaxation and concentration." Iyengar observed that the practice of asanas, "...brings steadiness, health, and lightness of limb. A steady and pleasant posture produces mental equilibrium and prevents fickleness of mind." He adds that they bring agility, balance, endurance, and "...great vitality," developing the body to a fine physique which is strong and elastic without being muscle-bound." But, Iyengar states, their real importance is the way they train the mind, conquer ing, the body and making it a fit vehicle for the spirit. Iyengar saw it as significant that asanas are named after plants, insects, fish and amphibians, reptiles, birds, and quadrupeds, as well as legendary heroes, sages, and avatars of Hindu gods, in his view illustrating spiritual evolution." For instance, the lion pose, Simhasana, recalls the myth of Narasimha, half-man, half-lion, and an avatar of Vishnu, as told in the Bhagavata Purana. The message is, Iyengar explains, that while performing asanas, the yogi takes the form of different creatures, from the lowest to the highest, not despising any, for he knows that throughout the whole gamut of creation there breathes the same universal spirit. Through mastery of the asanas, Iyengar states, dualities like gain and loss, or fame and shame disappear. Exercise Since the mid-20th century, asanas have been used, especially in the Western world, as physical exercise. In this context, their overtly Hindu purpose is masked but its ecstatic, transcendent, possibly subversive," elements remain. That context has led to a division of opinion among Christians, some like Alexandra Davis of the Evangelical Alliance asserting that it is acceptable as long as they are aware of yoga's origins, others like Paul Gosby stating that Hatha Yoga's purpose is to "...open up chakras," and release kundalini or "...serpent power," which in Gosby's view is "...from Satan," making "...Christian yoga, a contradiction." In a secular context, the journalists Nell Frizzle and Rennie Edo Lodge have debated in the Guardian whether Western yoga classes represent cultural appropriation. In Frizzle's view, yoga has become a new entity, a long way from the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, and while some practitioners are culturally insensitive, others treat it with more respect. Edo Lodge agrees that Western yoga is far from Patanjali, but argues that the changes cannot be undone, whether people use it as a holier-than-thou tool, as a tactic to balance out excessive drug use, or practiced similarly to its origins with the spirituality that comes with it." From a Hindu perspective, the practice of asanas in the Western world as physical exercise is not necessarily seen as problematic, as long as the practice of asanas in this way is not confused with yoga as a path. Benefits and contraindications Claimed benefits 
The asanas of hatha yoga have been popularized in the Western world by claims about their health benefits. The history of such claims was reviewed by William J. Broad in his 2012 book The Science of Yoga. Broad argues that while the health claims for yoga began as Hindu nationalist posturing, it turns out that there is ironically, "...a wealth of real benefits." Physically, the practice of asanas has been claimed to improve flexibility, strength, and balance, to alleviate stress and anxiety, and to reduce the symptoms of lower back pain. Claims have been made about beneficial effects on specific conditions such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and diabetes. There is evidence that practice of asanas improves birth outcomes and physical health and quality of life measures in the elderly, and reduces sleep disturbances and hypertension. Iyengar yoga is effective at least in the short term for both neck pain and low back pain. Contraindications Light on yoga cautions that people with high blood pressure or displaced retina should avoid inverted poses such as sursasana and sarvangasana. It also cautions that women should avoid asanas, especially inverted poses such as sursasana, during menstruation and the first month after giving birth. It states that they may practice asanas during the first three months of pregnancy, avoiding pressure on the abdomen, and that they may practice bhata konasana and upavistha konasana throughout pregnancy. The Yoga Journal provides separate lists of asanas that it states are unadvisable and should be avoided or modified for each of the following medical conditions, asthma, back injury, carpal tunnel syndrome, diarrhea, headache, heart problems, high blood pressure, insomnia, knee injury, low blood pressure, menstruation, neck injury, pregnancy, and shoulder injury. Common practices In the Yoga Sutras, the only rule Patanjali suggests for practicing asana is that it be steady and comfortable. The body is held poised with the practitioner experiencing no discomfort. When control of the body is mastered, practitioners are believed to free themselves from the duality of heat, cold, hunger, satiety, joy, grief, which is the first step toward the unattachment that relieves suffering. Traditional guidance Light on Yoga provides the following guidance for performing asanas The stomach should be empty, or asanas can be practiced an hour after a very light meal. The bladder and bowels should also be empty. A bath or shower before the asanas makes them easier. The best time for asanas is early in the morning or late in the evening. The breath should not be restrained during the asanas. Some movements, such as jumping the legs apart for trikonasana, are to be taken on an in-breath, some, such as bending the trunk sideways for trikonasana, on an out-breath. Lie down in savasana for 10 to 15 minutes after practicing asanas. <inaudible> <inaudible> Surya Namaskar Surya Namaskar, the salutation to the sun, commonly practiced in most forms of yoga, links up to 12 asanas in a dynamically expressed yoga series. A full round consists of two sets of the series, the second set moving the opposing leg first. The asanas included differ from tradition to tradition, and for example in Iyengar yoga, several variations such as inserting Marasyasana I and Paschimottanasana are suggested. Schools of yoga In the Western world, asanas are taught in differing styles by the various schools of yoga. Some poses like trikonasana are common to many of them, but not always performed in the same way. Iyengar yoga According to the Iyengar Yoga Institute, Iyengar yoga emphasizes precision and alignment", and prioritizes correct movement over quantity, i.e. moving a little in the right direction is preferred to moving more but in other directions. Postures are held for a relatively long period compared to other schools of yoga, this allows the muscles to relax and lengthen, and encourages awareness in the pose. 
Props including belts, blocks and blankets are freely used to assist students in correct working in the asanas. Beginners are introduced early on to standing poses, executed with careful attention to detail. For example, in trikonasana, the feet are often jumped apart to a wide stance, the forward foot is turned out, and the center of the forward heel is exactly aligned with the center of the arch of the other foot. Sivananda Yoga Sivananda Yoga practices the asanas, hatha yoga, as part of raja yoga, with the goal of enabling practitioners to sit in meditation for a long time. There is little emphasis on the detail of individual poses. Teachers rely on the basic instructions given in the books by Sivananda and Swami Vishnu Devananda. In Trikonasana, the top arm may be stretched forward parallel to the floor rather than straight up. Sivananda Yoga identifies a group of twelve asanas as basic. These are not necessarily the easiest poses, nor those that every class would include. Trikonasana is the last of the twelve, whereas in other schools it is one of the first and used to loosen the hips in preparation for other poses. Twelve basic asanas in Sivananda Yoga Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga In Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga, poses are executed differently from Iyengar Yoga. Vinyasa means flowing, and the poses are executed relatively rapidly, flowing continuously from one asana to the next using defined transitional movements. The asanas are grouped into six series, one primary, one intermediate, and four advanced. Practice begins and ends with the chanting of mantras, followed by multiple cycles of the sun salutation, which forms the foundation of Ashtanga Yoga practice, and then won the series. In Trikonasana, the feet are held closer together, the back foot is at right angles rather than turned in slightly, and the lower hand grasps the big toe of the forward foot, rather than reaching to the ground. Ashtanga vinyasa practice emphasizes aspects of yoga other than asanas, including drishti focus points, bandhas energy locks, and pranayama. Kripalu yoga Kripalu yoga uses teachers from other asana traditions, focusing on mindfulness rather than using effort in the poses. Teachers may say, allow your arms to float up, rather than, bring up your arms. The goal is to use the asanas, as a path of transformation. The approach is in three stages, firstly instruction in body alignment and awareness of the breath during the pose, secondly, holding the pose long enough to observe, unconscious patterns of tension in the body-mind and thirdly, through deep concentration and total surrender, allowing oneself to be moved by prana. In trikonasana, the teacher may direct pupil's attention to pressing down with the outer edge of the back foot, lifting the arch of the foot, and then experimenting with micro-movements, exploring where energy moves and how it feels. Bikram yoga In Bikram Yoga, as developed by Bikram Choudhury, there is a fixed sequence of 26 poses, in which Trikonasana is ninth, its task to focus on opening the hips. The Bikram version of Trikonasana resembles Parsvakanasana as executed in Ashtanga or Iyengar Yoga, since the forward leg is bent, "...until the back of the leg is parallel to the floor." The position of the feet is seen as critically important, along with proper breathing and the distribution of weight, about 30% on the back foot, 70% on the front foot. Types of asana Asanas can be classified in different ways, which may overlap, for example, by the position of the head and feet standing, sitting, reclining, inverted, by whether balancing is required, or by the effect on the spine forward bend, back bend, twist. The number of asanas varies by what each author chooses to include in each group as cited in the table and described in footnotes, by how comprehensive each author's coverage is, by whether groups like hip opening and core strength are included at all, and by whether some poses are treated as variations or asanas in their own right. An empty cell means that author did not classify asanas explicitly in that way in the work cited, it does not imply that such asanas are not described by that author. For example, one of Mitra's chapters is 
Sun Salutation and Hero series, with 23 poses, and another as Floor and Supine poses, with 267. These are not included here as the categories of Sun, Hero, and Floor. Supine do not match the types of asana used in the table, based on the broad consensus of other authors. Mi equals Metta, Mi equals Mitra, Py equals Pakatyoga, Rh equals Rhodes, Sa equals Saraswati, Y equals Yogapedia, Yj equals Yoga Journal, Yp equals Yoga Point. See also Karanas, transitions in classical Indian dance Yoga piracy, the practice of claiming copyrights on yoga techniques Notes <laughs>